Hey guys, welcome to Surveying with Robert. So I've had several of you ask me about running multiple rovers off one base station. So I thought I would set it up and show you how it works. It's actually pretty simple. The problem is most people overthink it. So I've got to run to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, to do some training. I got to be there in the morning. I don't know, it's like six o'clock, 6.30 right now. So on Monday afternoon, I'm trying to get this out for you guys for my Tuesday tip, right? So. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do this. So the first thing we need to do is get our base started. So let's go and let's go to settings. Let's go to survey styles. And I'm gonna go to RTK. I'm gonna go to base options and we're gonna look. Okay, so first of all, I've got R12i. So let's make this an R12. Antenna height is gonna be two meters. We are going to use a lever extension for the R12. That's that black lever extension that's up there. We're gonna make sure all of our satellites are turned on, okay? So we're not worried about the serial number, station index, or any of that stuff right now. Station index though is 15. I could do a video just on station index. Let's say accept. Let's go to base data link. Okay, so I'm gonna go to radio, but I'm gonna go to receiver internal. Now, if you'll notice, when you go to receiver internal, down here at the bottom, it says connect. So I'm gonna hit the connect button. So what it's doing is it's connecting up to the radio, right? Okay, so it says I'm on four, for frequency, I'm on 461-1000, trim talk version one at 8,000 BPS. So what I need to do is make sure all these other radios are on the same frequency, on the same baud rate, and make sure everything is broadcasting CMRX. That's the first thing to do. So, okay, we know what that is, accept, accept, store, get out of there. I'm gonna to go to measure, I'm gonna say RTK, and I'm gonna say start base. Let's say point number one, I'll do a key in, right, down here at the bottom, I'm gonna say here, we'll call it CP base, okay. Um, boy, there is something wrong with my easting. Let me go see what I got going on here. Properties, Alabama East, State Plain. Well, I am not, oh, I'm in Alabama. No wonder, I'm supposed to be in Mississippi. Oh man, jacked that one up, didn't I? Let's go down here to Mississippi. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Store, accept. Open here. <gasps> Those coordinates look a whole lot better. I knew there's not supposed to be a negative number in front of Mississippi, right? Okay, CP base, everything looks good now. I'm gonna say enter, store, and my station index is 15. I'm gonna say start, everything looks good. Okay, so now I've got my base started. Now here's the trick. You don't ever start the base again. Base has started, it's broadcasting. It's broadcasting lat long and ellipsoid height. So now what we need to do, I've got my rovers set up over there. We're gonna go over there to the rovers and we're gonna set them up to catch the broadcast coming from this, right? Okay, so um, 461, 1000, 8000 baud rate, is that what we remember? Okay, so let's go over there and let's, let's get this set up. Oh, my gosh. You'd think I could have done this earlier in the day when the sun wasn't beating down on me, right? Oh well, it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's get these set up. I've got, uh, if I go into settings, I go to connections and look, 8.5, that's this receiver, okay? So what I wanna do is go into settings, I wanna go to survey styles, Go back to my RTK. Now we'll look at rover options. I'm going to change this to a, whoops, I'm gonna change this to an R12. This is just a straight up R12. Yes, it is. Uh, bottom of quickly, CMRX, station index. I'm gonna say any, I am not gonna prompt for station index. We're gonna make sure all the satellites are turned on. And I'm gonna turn tilt functions off. I like the X field, so I'll leave it on. Uh, all that looks good. Rover data link. 
um, we're going to connect up to the rover. So you notice on the bottom the screen it said rover. So now I'm connecting up to the rover. So let's hit connect. Okay, 461, 1000, 8000 baud rate. So that matches my base station, okay? So let's say accept, accept, escape. No, sorry, sore, oops. Didn't change anything, but anyways. Um, let's go to measure, RTK, measure points. Okay, showing we have radio and everything is working. Okay, there we go. So I started my base, now I've started my rover. Now I'm gonna step over to the other rover and I'm gonna start it. I'm not going back to the base. That's where everybody makes a mistake. They wanna go back to the base and try to start it again. The base is already broadcasting. I just need to pick up the information. I could run a hundred rovers uh, off that one base because the base is already broadcasting. So when you start the second rover, don't start the base again because that just messes everything up. So let's go in, let's go to settings, let's go to survey styles. Go to RTK, Rover Options, let's look at it. CMRX, R12, I think this one, pretty sure this one's the R12i. R12i, IMU Tilt, E-Bubble, I'm turning all that off for what we're doing. I'm not gonna kick on the station index. Turn on the all the satellites, X feels good. Accept, Rover Data Link, okay? Radio receiver internal, so now I'm connected to the uh, to the rover, so I don't didn't have you know I had to connect to the rover on that one. This one I'm already connected because I originally was connected to the base. Does that make sense? Okay, 461, 1000, 8000 baud rate. So that matches my base station. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, accept, escape, store, escape, measure, um, RTK, measure points. Remember, the base has already started. And there we go. So I'm ready to start surveying. So I am running both these rovers off that base station. The key to it is, is not to restart your base. I see so many people make that mistake. Your base is already running. There's no need to restart your base. It's already broadcasting. All your base does is it broadcasts latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height. That's coming to the data collector. Once it hits the data collector, then whatever you've got set up in a projection, it will convert and create a coordinate, right? So there's no coordinate coming off of that point. Latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height. What's that point based on? It's a here position right now for what we're doing, but typically that point would be based on NAT 83 2011 that either came from a, an opus position or from a reference station or something like that. So that information converted to lat long and ellipsoid height is the information I'm getting. So if we go in and we look and we go to point manager, look at there, point number one, which is the one I created there. That's the data collector I started to base with. This pulled that information and if I go to global is one I was looking for, that's the information that I'm getting from the base station. I'm getting that latitude, longitude, and I'm getting a height, ellipsoid height. That's what's coming in. And then I've got my data collector set up on Mississippi East, I hope, since I had the other one set on Alabama. Let's see. Properties. <laughs> I did this one right. Oh, why did Alabama on that one? Anyways, guys, I know I kind of did this in a hurry, but I've got a four hour drive to get to Santa Rosa Beach to do training with somebody that bought some equipment. But I wanted to show you guys this because I know some of you have been having problems with it. So as always, I greatly appreciate you guys watching. I've got some cool stuff coming up that I'm working on. Um, you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned and watch the next video because uh, the next one is probably gonna be about the R750 which is a receiver that Trimble has. I'm gonna kind of um, explain all that stuff to you guys. But this weekend, I'm gonna to try to do another RTX video. That RTX video is gonna be me shooting RTX, uh, RTK, and I'm checking it with a robot. And it's gonna be interesting for you to see I did it. I spent all weekend building a bracket to make this work on the back end of my truck. So I'll show you guys all that in that video. But stay tuned. Uh, keep watching. I'm trying to get some more videos out. Hey, this is the second Tuesday tip in a row. 
So uh, as always, like, subscribe. Love you guys. Be safe out there. And um, man, I'll see you in the next one.